Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. This class is part of NISM equity derivative course. Okay, this is a free class. Just go through it. In the full course, you'll be getting video classes for all the chapters, uh, notes, quizzes, and where you can ask your doubts. If there is any doubt in your mind, you can WhatsApp me 9067201000. This is my personal WhatsApp number if you are facing any difficulty. Link to join the course is available in the description. And now let's continue to the class. Today we are going to do introduction to options, right? So in this lecture, we'll be doing the types of derivatives, working of options and important terms related to the options, right? So let's start. So basically there are two types of derivatives, right? The forward commitment and the options, right? In the forward commitments, the both the long and the short i have already explained long and short in my previous lecture there is a commitment both of them the long and short they entered into a contract and they are required to buy and sell the commodity or whatever uh, the the good they they promise to buy or sell they need to do that there is a commitment right so whatever the contract contract that they entered there is a commitment to fulfill that commitment they are required right so the long is required to buy uh, at a given price and the short is required to sell at a given price so please remember the word required so please remember the word required under the forward commitment contracts like the future forwards and swaps there is a requirement they are required the long and short they are required right at a specific time of point of time while in the contingent claims such as options they are not required right the long is not required the short is required but long is not required so the long has a right to buy at a given price but not the obligation right while the short is required why that is happening because long has paid a premium for that so why the long has a right long has a right to buy but not obligation so long has the option long has the option to buy but not the obligation why that is happening because long had paid an premium long paid a premium for that for such treatment the long had already paid a premium for that so long has a right but short he is required to sell at a given price right because short he received a premium right from the long so that is long call and short call long has right to buy at a given price and the short he is required to sell at a given price if long exercises a option if long doesn't exercise the option that option is gone right he takes a premium that is his profit and what is a put option the long has right to sell at a given price but no obligation the long has right to sell under the long call the long has right to buy under the long put the long has right to sell okay but give give it a uh, look both short call and short put they are required both short call and uh, short put under the short call he is required to sell in the short put uh, the short is required to buy at a given price right in the both cases the long is giving a premium to the short okay under the both cases the long is giving the premium to the short and in the long call uh, he has the right to buy uh, but not obligation he has option under the long put he has right to sell right but that is not an obligation right that is an option he can exercise it uh, on that expiration date it is up to him right if he's making money if he's uh, is making profit he can do that uh what are american options and what are european options so under the american options the option may be exercised at any point of time the long can exercise his option at any point till the expiration date okay so that is a american option what is a european option under the european option 
द लॉन्ग कैन एक्सरसाइज हिज ऑप्शन राइट अंडर द लॉन्ग कॉल ही हैज द राइट एंड अंडर द लॉन्ग पुट ही हैज राइट टू सेल ही कैन एक्सरसाइज हिज राइट ही कैन यूज हिज राइट ओनली ऑन द एक्सपिरेशन डेट सो एन ईजी वे टू रिमेंबर दैट ए एनी टाइम इज अमेरिकन ऑप्शन E uh, only on the expiration date. That is the European option, right? Very simple. So let's move on to the important. There are three important terms: opening a position, and opening transaction is one that adds to or create new trading position. When you create a new trading position, that is opening a position. When you closes that position, right? When you exit that position, that is closing a position, right? Or squaring off your position. And what is leverage? And option buyers, uh, please go through the margin trading concept. Please go through the margin trading concept. An option buyer pays a relatively small price, right? Small price uh, to trade, right? So even for uh, getting into a uh, a contract of hundred rupee, he is just paying let's say fifteen or twenty rupees, right? so that is leverage trading please recall the margin trading concept that i have already done in my previous uh, session and i guess that's all for today students uh, if there is any doubt always ask your doubts on the comment section on the discussion board and thank you and have a very nice day bye bye